Hello, my name is Lee Tong. I'm from the University of Sydney, and my theme laptop is called uh, Health Technology During COVID-19, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Whew, 2020 was a rough year. Personally, I felt very difficult to stay healthy during the pandemic. I struggled to get out of the house to exercise. I order a lot of food from Uber Eats. And like many of you, I turn to my phone for some comfort. I watch a lot of yoga exercise on YouTube and try to follow that routine. I video call my family and friends. And that got me to start thinking, hmm, if technology can help us work from home, homeschool our kids, even order our toilet paper online, can it also help with our health during the pandemic? To answer that question, I conducted the very first global survey that asked people two main things. First of all, did they use any technology for the health during the pandemic? And secondly, did technology make a difference to their health? I got over 500 responses from 32 countries. Now to my first question, did people actually use technology? Turn out technology was very popular during the pandemic. 60% mentioned that they use a mobile app and 38% mentioned that they use a fitness tracker for their health. The most common reason that people use this technology were to stay active, to connect with other people and to manage their mental health. For example, someone mentioned that because they couldn't go to the gym, they join a live exercise class via Zoom. Another person mentioned that they use meditation apps to help with stress management. Now on to my second question, did technology actually make a difference to people's health? Turn out it did benefit people. My study found that people who use mobile app were more active and eat healthier than people who did not. Now this finding is very important. During the pandemic, the healthcare system is under massive stress. My study shows that technologies such as mobile apps can help people can help people and deliver healthcare support remotely and therefore should be integrated as part of the healthcare system. For example, if you're struggling to stay active and you go to your GP, they might be able to prescribe you a mobile app to help with that. Now, as we move into a post-COVID world, my next plan is to investigate how technology can be integrated as part of the healthcare system so that everyone can benefit and lead a healthier and happier life. Thank you.